Hi everyone, let's create, appreciate, and F that hate. Welcome back to Nika Flora. Happy Saturday, everyone. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend as well as the rest of this beautiful summer. I know it's been a while since I last vlogged. I actually meant to step away for one week, but it ended up being a total of maybe three or four weeks. I know it's been a while. Um, I think I really needed to take this time to kind of just give my brain a breather. And for next time, I'll try not to be away for too long, or at least I'll give you guys a heads up about it. But anyways, so the last video I made was my first short story called Meeting a Friend for the First Time. It's a lovely story about meeting a lifelong friend. What I really love about this story is the person I wrote about. He's actually one of my best friends, so it just warms my heart every time I think about this story. <laughs> I'll place a link in the description below if you guys want to, if you guys missed it and you want to check it out. I would pretty much appreciate it. I really like doing these short stories and sharing them with you guys. I usually work on longer stories, more so like novels, but this is actually a nice change. So for today's video, I'm actually going to be sharing my second short story, which is called My Crazy Ass Boyfriend. The story is kind of raunchy and has strong language, so beware kids, just letting you know. I tell you guys more, but it's better if you actually continue watching this video to see what I mean. <laughs> if you would like to read my blog post, click on the link in the description below. It's called Short Story 2, My Crazy Ass Boyfriend, same title as this video. I would pretty much appreciate that as well, but let's get down to the video. Short Story 2, My Crazy Ass Boyfriend. Why do you like Starbucks so much? There are lots of other coffee places we can go to. They have way better drinks than this place, Cairo says, shaking his head as he parks the car. I sigh as I check the app on my phone. I smile when I see that I have enough points for a few free drinks. You get free drinks and food if you come here a lot, I reply, but I really do like the refreshers. I guess, he says, Jamba Juice is way better though. We step out of the car before making our way to the building. Cairo gets the door for me and I thank him for his kind act. He just winks at me while we head to the counter. A young lady greets us with a big smile. What can I get for you two? My friend lazily looks at the menu as he asks me a question. Which one do you want? Kiwi refresher, I answer. I'll have a grande kiwi refresher and a grande strawberry acai drink, Cairo says. The lady jots down the order, stating that the drinks will be ready soon. After she scans my phone, Kyra and I sit down at a table right next to the window. I suddenly yawn, rubbing my eyes. You tired? He asks. Yeah, I want to go back to sleep, I almost whisper. I clear my throat since it feels like there's a lump stuck in there. My friend chuckles while closing his eyes for about a minute. You always want to sleep. You just woke up like an hour ago, he comments. I know, it's not enough. Oh my god, Cairo mutters to himself. He stands up from his chair so that he can stretch his arms. I'll be back, gonna take a piss. Oh, you're gonna take a dump? Don't clog the toilet. We don't want a repeat of last time, I say loudly. A couple of the other customers heard, giving me amused smiles. Cairo sees the others giggling at him and then shoots me a glare. I hate you he says before finally leaving. I just smirk in victory. I pull out my phone, looking for something to do in the meantime. Within the next several minutes, I scroll aimlessly through social media and laugh at some weird stuff my friends posted. I almost click on my favorite game until a hand is waved extremely close to my face. Hey, some guy says as he takes the seat in front of me. Mind if I join you? I narrow my eyes. You're already sitting there after assuming I said yes. What if I want to be alone? Ouch, she says. No need to be mean. I'm a good guy who just wants to talk. I thought a pretty girl like you could use some company. I study him more closely. Things could be worse. He does look to be around my age, at least. He still creeps me out, though. What do you want? I say, not even bothering to sound nice. This guy doesn't notice my clear dislike for him. We should exchange numbers. I'll take you out somewhere nice and we can have some fun at my place after. I sigh, rubbing my temples. I gotta think of a civil way to reject him. 
Luckily, an idea quickly comes to mind. I'm about to tell that guy no until I hear Cairo interject. She's not interested. Get the fuck out of my seat. The guy is caught off guard from Cairo's nasty tone as he stands up to size my friend up. Stay out of our business, asshole, the guy says. This is between me and her. Cairo rolls his eyes, placing the drinks on the table. Actually, this is my fucking business. She's my girlfriend. The guy is even more surprised as he looks back and forth between me and Cairo. What? No way. You were sitting alone. That's because I went to the bathroom, you cunt, Cairo says. Now, if you excuse me, you're interrupting our date. Cairo moves past the guy, regaining his seat. He calmly sips on a strawberry drink, smiling from the taste. I guess the guy doesn't want to give up easily because he stands next to me, giving me a forced smile. Look, sweetie, he starts. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot, but I can treat you a lot better than this jerk. Why don't you dump this loser and give it a go with me? I'll make it worth your while tonight. Cairo snorts, almost spitting out his drink. He grins cheekily as we both process the words this guy is saying. I'm about to speak until Cairo interrupts me again. Dude, do you even have a job? Cairo asks him. The guy turns his attention toward my friend. What? Do you have a job? My friend repeats. I'm in between work. It's hard right now, the guy says. Okay, do you have a car and a driver's license? Cairo pushes forth. The guy is quiet this time as he mutters something. I couldn't hear him. I can't hear what the fuck you're saying, Cairo says. I don't have one, the guy exclaims. I don't have a fucking car and license. You happy now? At least you're not delusional about your financial situation, Cairo comments. So, you don't have a car. You don't have a driver's license. You're juggling work right now, so money isn't stable. You probably sit at home, fap to porn, smoke low-quality weed, and do unproductive shit like play video games all day. I burst out laughing from hearing what Cairo said. I was trying to hold it in, but that last part really got to me. The guy right next to us just looks like he either wants to cry or run out the door. What makes you think you're worthy enough to ask my girlfriend out? You're a prick. Go fuck yourself, the guy says before storming out the cafe. Some of the other customers start gossiping amongst themselves as their sly gazes keep falling upon us. I get uncomfortable, so I tell Cairo that we should leave already. I quickly stride toward his car. Cairo unlocks the doors with his remote, so I use this chance to slip right in and shut the door. My friend soon joins me, placing his drink in the, cu in the cup holder. As much as that guy creeped me out, Cairo humiliated him in front of everyone in the cafe. I almost would have felt sorry for the guy if he hadn't give me, given me the chills. That guy deserved it, Cairo says, seeming to read my mind. I could have been nicer about it, but he was talking so much bullshit. I almost lost my temper. What if he really was looking for a girlfriend, I ask. This makes Cairo look at me skeptically. Even if he was, he still sees you as a fuck toy. It's one thing to say what you want, but it's a fucking coffee shop, not a bar. What a fucking cunt. I love how brutally honest Cairo is. However, his cursing really makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Thank you for what you did, I say. I appreciate it. Cairo laughs. Anything for my girl. We can cuddle when we get home and forget all about him. My cheeks flare up when I realize what he said. It's not the first time Cairo has ever flirted with me. But I've been feeling shy around him lately. Jeez, I say. Mm-hmm. Cairo responds. You do sound like a boyfriend, I comment. Cairo shrugs. I might as well be. We've known each other for years. I love you and would do anything to protect you. Even if I have to be a dick to other guys. Then again, I love being an asshole regardless. He chuckles at his own statement. I shake my head before speaking once more. Are you actually serious about what you said? I ask quietly. Do you really love me? Yeah, Cairo says, kissing my forehead. Consider today to be our first date. From now on, I'll be your crazy ass boyfriend. Thank you for listening to my crazy yet somewhat adorable story. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. Again, you can always click on the link below to read my blog post. It's the same title as this video, Short Story 2, My Crazy Ass Boyfriend. 
And also, join the Nika Flora fam today by visiting nikaflora.com and subscribe to my mailing list and my social media. I would pretty much appreciate it. Subscribe to the Nika Flora channel, give this video a thumbs up, and click on that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. <laughs> Comment down below if you ever got into a relationship unexpectedly. Maybe not the same way in the story, but what if you went grocery shopping and then you ended up with the boyfriend later that day? I don't know. I think there's just weird situations that just occur all over. I, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened. I'd find that pretty funny, actually. <laughs> but anyways, I'll be back with a new video next Wednesday. Until then, let's create, appreciate, and F that hate. Bye guys!